something very interesting. Caesar was dead. There was mass confusion. He's been cremated. Well, guess what? Julius Caesar was very famous for turning the other cheek. In other words, Clementia Caesaris. He forgave the enemies. He was constantly forgiving everybody. He left in his will a lot of money to eat to the citizens of Rome. The Senate hated him because Julius Caesar was a man of the people. He wanted all the senators to give their money some, to some of the property to the slave. It was like a, being a communist. That's the reason many said that Christ was a communist. Caesar was a communist. Nobody mentions uh, Caesar at all. They, the only thing in history that everybody talks about and worship is Jesus Christ. The mutation, his mutation. Uh, it's amazing, but there's no proof, there, there's no archaeological proof zero evidence of the existence of Jesus Christ except for the religious text from the Bible and there are many of them but there is proof of Caesar there is proof that he was a god there is proof that he was worship everything that I'm saying I can actually produce evidence archaeological evidence evidence that I can grab like from the temple of Divus Julius and knock the unbeliever over their head so they can get it through the head, because I can take a piece of marble from the Temple of Divos Julius and hit some Christ psychotic over the head, so they understand. But they cannot do that with Christ. Where are his temples? Where are they? Everything in, in Jerusalem, or in Galia Capitolina, which I call the city of nuts, uh, it was built in the fourth century by Constantinus and his crazy uh, octogenarian mother, Empress Helena. He went over there and the Jews, the smartest people on the planet, they saw their bill of goods. <laughs> they grabbed the Empress Helena said, oh no. And this is like 300, this is in 340 uh, uh, around there. And uh, the Empress Helena was, uh, my gosh, was, all the Jews were oh no, here's where Jesus Christ was born. And then she built the temple. Build it. And here's where he died. She built the temple. <laughs> they all <always> sampled her. <laughs> the Jews are very, very intelligent. They, they do it all the time. Because the majority of Jews are practically mentally healthy. In other words, atheists. They take advantage of everybody else because they were kicked out of Jerusalem by the Romans, which they did in the greatest favor in the year 70. Titus. The son of God, Jesus Christus, Titus. And um, that's what the first diaspora. But anyway, all of the people after that, after after or after Julius Caesar was killed and declared God and his temples built in 29 CE by Augustus and many temples, that's what everything is that gaining momentum. The religion, the Roman, uh, uh, the Roman Empire, the religion was immense, all kind of religions, but the main one. Numero uno, number one, was the religion of Divus, Julius, of Julius Caesar. Nobody sees it. I mean, Julius Caesar was number one. It was better than the, than the, uh, the cult of Mars, the, all the different cults. Now, did you know that Augustus, when he built the temple of Julius Caesar in the Forum, guess who he chose as priest of Julius Caesar. Mark Antony, you know, uh, uh, it was in Egypt with Cleopatra. He appointed, he appointed um, Lepidus, Marcus Emilius Lepidus. If you go to the forum, you see the Basilica Emilia and all the, the aristocracy of Rome, all of them were studying the priesthood. In other words, everybody was being chosen to be priest. It's like the only senators here in the United States that are chosen to be priests. They have to study to be priest. And one is a priest of, a, of a, you know, the tooth fairy, the other one is a priest of Santa, the other one is a priest of Jesus, the other one is a priest of Allah, a, a, a priest of Allah, the other one is a priest of uh, Buddha, the other one, you know, all the different things were the priesthood of different, different, different gods. That's the reason the Roman 
religion was extremely tolerant. We can see that in the famous building in Rome. The, one of the oldest, most preserved buildings in Rome is the Pantheon. Pantheon means it was a temple dedicated to all gods. They even had the, an altar to the unknown gods. There's a big, huge hole in the ceiling called the oculus, representing the sun, representing the sphere of the sun god, and let the light of the sun god come in. That's the reason he's there. Christians, they did not exist in Rome. Zero. You know, everybody says, oh, the Christians here and the Christians that They did not exist. Christians means followers of an anointed man. The only person that was anointed in those days was Julius Caesar. <sighs> With oil. He was a god. So he was an anointed person. So the followers of, Yul of, of, of uh, Julius Caesar should be calling uh, Caesareans. The only thing that, that came around was Caesareans. They eventually will turn into, mutated into what they are called today as Christians or followers of a Christ, of, a, of, a, um, of an anointed person, which is a, a, a Christus. So now we have seen the problem here. Uh, and guess who the, um, uh, the... Julius Caesar was also a head priest, which means Archereos Megistos, great builder of bridges. Guess who were the builders of well, Caesar was a great builder of bridges, and builder of bridges in Rome were carpenters. This is a symbol of the cross, which is a symbol of victory, right on uh, Herculaneum. This is Aeneas in the mosaic of Herculaneum. Uh, here we have Apollo wearing his crowns of the sun, of the sun rays. And here we have Augustus with the same thing, a cantha bush, thorn bush. Uh, here is Alexander, a coin of Alexander when horns, the horns represent the god Atun, which is also a symbol of the sun, like Moses is wearing horns, for a mistranslation in the, in the Bible, this book of myth. And then we have the, um, how the crown evolved into this crown of kings we see today. Here we have Jesus, I mean Caesar, Jesus dressed like a, a Roman, uh, you know, Roman emperor with a crown. And here we have Augustus, and here we have uh, Julius Caesar with the crook, and the bird, and the goddess. And here is a reproduction of the uh, Renaissance painting wearing the same thing. Here the Arapakis with the swastika representing the uh, sun god and the Romans togas. And Benedictus wearing red shoes, just like Julius Caesar did. This is a pantheon with the uh, symbol of the sun, the oculus, the uh, hole right in the center. Here we have psychedelic mushrooms in a basilica. <laughs> in South Africa, hey, the Christians uh, like to get high in those times uh, to see God. And here is uh, truly how the criminals were punished. Here is the Council of the Church. From 325, the Catholic Church modified all its fairy tales and lies to tell everybody. 